Welcome back everybody and this is another two for one Friday special for you. It's like a happy hour you get two videos smashed into one. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is another foundation review and then I figured I'll jump into another eye tutorial for you. Um, so remember before you <laughs> Remember, before you leave, subscribe to my channel down below and click the bell so you get all of the notifications when I um, upload new videos for you. And if you want to see something specific, please comment down below and make sure to like this video when you're done. And let's just jump right into it. The foundation today that we are going to be reviewing is a new one. And if a few um, YouTubers have already use this. So I decided to put my oily skin to the test. It is the um, YSL All Hours Full Coverage Matte Foundation. So this is the packaging. What it looks like. So it says it's full coverage, um, normal combination and oily skin. It's a matte finish, which is good for all of us oily. It is a new 24-hour full coverage foundation that instantly blurs pores and fine lines and provides un uninterrupted flawless wear that looks and feels just applied all day. So it, um, it's a 24-hour advanced formula, won't cake, dry, flake, or fade, transfer proof, which is good for all of us girls, oil-free and non-pore clogging. This foundation stands up to makeup meltdowns by combining Move With You flexible pigments and skin-loving ingredients for better flawless coverage and skin that feels fresh and comfortable day to night. <sighs> okay, so it also says that it was made in France with finest pigments and ingredients that respect and care for the skin. All ours is oil-free, um, dermatologist tested, so we are going to test it out today. Alright, so again, this is what it looks like and this hopefully is my uh, color here my shade um, I did order online so it's really really hard it says on the box right there that you do have to shake the bottle before you stop so in the meantime like through the day I will be updating you how this is wearing on my skin how it looks um, I get a lot of creasing here and in here so that'll be the test. If it does increase, um, it'll be a good one. So we're just going to jump in, do the video, and shake. Oh, and it's a nice pump. It also has like a um, frosted glass. So it's really nice. I'm just going to pump it. Oh, hold it away from it. And just... Eh, it looks a little light, nothing a little bronzer. Can't help out, but yeah, I think it's a little light. We'll work with it today. So this is what I'm going to start with. Oh, I didn't go back first. I'm going to work around it. I forgot to turn my face. Ooh. We're just going to go right through here. Dang it. Dang it, Whitney, Dumbo, and this foundation is so expensive, I am not, <laughs> I'm not taking it off to do, so, whatever. Primers don't make it, always. <laughs> Let's just buff this off, but it's not too bad of a match. Hmm. It has a nice scent. I don't know what it smells like, but I mean, I mean, it's looking a little bit nice. I didn't use too much right now. To me, it's not looking like full full coverage, but. I mean, it, it covered pretty well, and it still looks like skin. I 
it's a little tacky. We're going to see how it dries down here a little bit. Um, I'm going to put just like one or two more pumps right here on the side. I'm doing like half pumps. So we'll just add that. It's like a floor. You can't place a snow. And I'm just going to stipple that out more instead of moving it around the whole thing. I don't want to move the other base that I hit the down. I just want a little bit more in certain spots. If this can stand the test of time down here in Florida in the heat in the summer, then this will be hopefully my number one foundation. So this is how it looks on the skin. It's actually really beautiful. Very lightweight. I don't even feel like I have anything on my face. So um, I'm going to go ahead and wait a minute to see. I didn't even see this. Oh, it does have SPF in it of 20. And the bottle does say up to 24 hour wear, flawless matte, full coverage, oil free. Um, what does it retail for? I think it's $58. So it is like a higher end, you know, foundation. Um, I wonder if they would have like a dupe for this. Well, I'll have to start checking that out. But I'm just going to go ahead and conceal and then powder and um, show you the finish of it after the powder. So right now it's still tacky. So, okay, so I'm going to start to conceal. I'm going to go in with Shape Tape, but this is a little bit light. So I'm also going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. So it is a little bit darker. So what I do with this is right where I need it the most and I want to brighten the most is I just put a couple you know dots on my face and then I go in with the darker one from Wet n Wild and then I conceal you know in all the other places. I don't ever go below my nostrils though because you don't want to keep dragging everything down. Okay. So I will take my pure sponge, which is disgustingly dirty, sorry about that, and just go back and forth. I'm curious to see how all the other products that I have and that I'm going to use work on top of this foundation. So that really blended out really nice on top of it. And if you are a little bit older and struggle with the crepiness under this, Shape Tape is very full coverage. And um, I did stop using it for a while because I was just using too much. So if you want to use it just like how I did, if you have older skin, it's a perfect amount. It doesn't, you know, accentuate any of my lines under here. Okay, so now that, that, that's that. I'm going to go in and set it with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And then we'll see how it gets finished on the skin. All those days watching from the guys this may be my new favorite depending on how it wears throughout the day so right now by setting it with just a little bit of powder it feels soft I feel like it's just my skin um, I may try the transfer get like a shirt with it so we will see but I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup except for my eyes and I will come back and I will do a eye tutorial of, I don't know, today. We'll wing it, I guess. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I have everything on, and I will do. I will, I will do. I will have to say that with the bronzer and the blush and the highlighter, everything went on so smooth and buttery, better than some of the other foundations that I've tried out. Um, so I'm hoping that this becomes my favorite one. Yes and no because it is more expensive but if it lasts through this heat um, I do have some stuff to do outside today and run some errands so that will be the test so um, right now we're just going to jump into the eyes and I'm again using the Jaclyn Hill palette um, most of you probably do have it already um, so I think what I'm going to try to do is use some of like these down here so I am going to just jump in to this one right here as a transition shade. This is like a medium Toby Brown a little bit, but so you just build it up like to the pigment that you like. If you don't like too pigmented shadows, then you don't build it up as much as you do, as I do. Okay. Okay, so that is what it looks like right now. Um, I think the next shade that I'm going to jump into is going to be this one right here. So it's like a step step up from the last one. And I'm just going to take a more precise brush. This one is Royal and Lang Nickel Silk so Pro Crease C430. So I'm just going to go in there and just go right in the crease and build that up. And if you want to keep going back and forth, go for it. If not, if this is what you like, do you? Uh, do you? So it's just going back and forth in the crease. And if you go out and you don't want to, you can start flicking it upward or outward. So it, I just can't get over this. So. Okay. Okay, going from that one, I think next I'm going to take this one on the outer edge. Can you see this one right here? And I'm just going to go in with a shorter, more angled brush for that. Dip it in, tap it off, and just go in the outer V. To build up the color. I'm going to dab it on first and then we'll go back in. And smooth out the edges with that. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and gosh, I do that all the time. Going with a little bit more and just build it up. Gonna bring that halfway across. Well, not halfway, like the quarter. See how it's always going with the quarter. And then just go back in and blend the edge again. And do that on the other side as well. Okay, so now that you have that to where you like it, um, I think, I don't know if I want to do lighter, if I want to do gold, what do I want to do? I'm maybe going to try this color right here. I'm going to take it on a short shader brush. And I will be wetting, you know, 
by product. Just take water or if you have fixed plus, whatever you have. And let's just go in and see what that does. And I'm going to kind of feather it so it melts in, so it's not just like lark, lark. <laughs> That's light and dark together, if you didn't know. Light and to dark. <laughs> I'm going to do a little lark here side and feather it in. I'm going to just take that other angled brush that I did use the dark color with. I'm not adding any more product. I'm just taking what is left and feathering that into the lighter color. And then go ahead on the other side. I'm going to go in with that one darker shade and go through the crease here so it all blends together and it's not like a harsh line here. I'll do that. Okay, so that is that. So now for the bottom, I'm going to take that um, Royal Lang Nickel Crease Brush, not putting any other product under on it, and I'm going to go right underneath the eyes. Just take the excess here and smoke that out. Make sure to connect here so there's not a space. Okay, so I do have a e.l.f. Um, it's like a flat top, so I'm going to go in with a darker um, brown, and I am going to go in right up against the lower lash line and just darken that up. Crit a tag. And then you can go back in and soften it up a little bit. What are we going to do with the brow bone? Um, let's try that. Woo! This second shade here. Very lightly. Very lightly. I don't want it too intense. I just want it to be pretty. See, that's not too intense at all. By highlighting the brow bone, it lifts your eyes for a older lady. I don't want to look old in her. Do it to us. We to stay young as long as we can there, ladies, don't we? Okay, I'm going to add some eyeliner and my mascara and my lipstick and I will come back and show you the final product. Okay, everybody, so this is the finished look that I've come up with. I kind of just tried a different thing with my hair, so besides <laughs> a little flatter than the other side, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, and so, yes, this is the final look. I'm liking the foundation. It's not sunk into any of my lines 
as of now. Um, I've had it on probably now for, I would say, a good hour. So um, I will be back later on to update you all on how it is looking. I'm going to do some stuff around the house and go run some errands, and I will be back in a few short hours. Okay, guys, so this is the first update that I'm doing for you. It is now 4 o'clock, so I've had this on for four and a half hours, and I think it's gorgeous. Um, I don't think I'm a I mean, I don't know if I'm a little bit oily. It's coming through maybe a little bit. Um, there's no creasing anywhere here or here. Um, I was a dingbat and didn't really put on my primer like I normally would. So without the full face being primed, I think this foundation is doing so well for that. Um, I think when I use the primer instead of forgetting it like a dingbat, um, I think it'll actually do better on the skin. But being for oily skin, I am in love. It doesn't look like I have anything on my face. I mean, you can tell I have makeup on, but for me, I can't feel it. I've like wiped my hands on my face. It doesn't come off, which is great. The transfer transfer proof is working. So, um, yeah, so, so far I really like it. Um, I probably won't be able to update you guys until maybe nine o'clock, 10 o'clock tonight. I have a busy night going on tonight. So, um, that will mean I will have it on for nine and a half to 10 hours. So we'll see how it lasts. Um, I haven't touched up anything. I haven't blotted. I haven't done any of that. So, I'm excited to see what the rest of the day brings, so keep watching or stay tuned, whatever you, whatever works. Actually, just stay tuned. Okay, last and final update. It is around 9.30 now, and as you can see here with the light, I am a little bit oily. Um, and that's without blotting, that's without touching up. So I think there's no lines, you know, there's, I mean, it's not sunk into my lap lines or up top. Um, it, I think have I, had I used the right primer or didn't forget to put my primer on, it would have lasted a lot longer. Um, but I really, really like the foundation. I'm going to test it out a few more days just to see with different um, primers on, different top um, sprays, setting sprays and all that. So we'll see what it does and maybe it will just show up in one of my favorites videos in the future. So um, subscribe to my channel before you leave and I hope this video was helpful to you and stay tuned for the next one.